And Britt Clennett joins me now from Hong Kong. Britt. Well, Diane, a lot of people we spoke to yesterday were extremely worried, but it's not just residents and activists here. Journalists, artists, even members of the business community are considering moving their companies elsewhere in Asia. Joshua Wong, a very prominent activist, says that his political group, Demosisto, was disbanded to protect its members and that he would continue the fight and stay in Hong Kong. At the moment, there aren't any protesters. We're just seeing this incredibly heavy police presence. As far as the eye can see, this sticker calling for Hong Kong independence, as well as the slogans we've been hearing calling for independence, is absolutely illegal. This could land you in jail. This is Beijing's brand new office in charge of enforcing the national security law and gathering intelligence for it. It's very secretive and very powerful. So here it is, hot off the press, today's Apple Daily, with a huge section dedicated to the events of the 31st of August. Hong Kongers resist, it says in huge letters. Lai, now out on bail without being charged, his passport was confiscated, spoke to us from his home. What do you think Apple Daily's role is in Hong Kong society? It means to Hong Kong people that there's a room for opposition voice. Are you still in danger or do you feel like you're still in danger? Yes, of course. I wouldn't say that I'm not in danger, but definitely. So what would you say to Hong Kongers who are afraid? Well, have faith in our judicial system. You can hear now they're saying one nation, one Hong Kong, essentially calling for independence, which is illegal now with this new national security law being imposed in Hong Kong, which is basically an anti-protest law. All of that can land you in jail, potentially now for life. Here's ABC's Britt Clennett. For residents in nine public housing blocks in Melbourne, an abrupt coronavirus lockdown has turned into a living nightmare. 3,000 tenants in the towers located in the suburbs of Flemington and North Melbourne banned from leaving their homes as testing is carried out. Wait, what please, comes next is chaos. Please, 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 please. I'm just Australian as the next person. I've been here since I was two years old and this discrimination really needs to end. This place gave me everything. My reward is to pay back. But it still breaks your heart. Yes. For ABC News Live, Britt Clement in Hong Kong.